Okay. Nobody Dina, knows. I thought I wanted to share. You want you told me something. You you have had the orthotic for six weeks now, and uh, this is a follow up. And you mentioned a few things. I thought it'll be worth uh, uh, recording that one. And it's Bob here is going to chime in at times. You mentioned a few things that kind of uh, you, you're happy about it, but also seem surprised. What yes. are some of those things? Well, I've had for 13 years. I've had a roar. Well, my headaches. And I can literally say, I mean, I've had headaches 24-7. I wake up with them, go to bed with them, and they would be very intense, but you learn to deal with them because you've got to stop taking aspirin and because that just doesn't do any good. And I have noticed when I started this, it really didn't kick in until really about, they, they were getting lighter, and, and honestly, I have I almost feel like I have a I have a clear head. I have not had a buzzing, just constant noise in my head 24/7, and my headaches have subsided so much that it's very minute. I mean, they're very little headaches. They're still there. They haven't gone totally away, but to me, they're gone away. Yeah, yeah we have only made some changes to the lower jaw. At this point, it's more like a trial period, if you would. Yes. And you mentioned something about the roaring. Was it an ear roaring? Just in my head. It, well, the ringing in my ear, I have not had any ringing in my ear at all. Okay. And I would always get ringing in my ear. Pretty consistent, just I don't know why, out of the blue. Both sides or one side? Uh, mainly on the right. Okay. Sometimes on the left, it would be both. But, but I have not had one bit of ringing. And your main reason for coming here, at least not coming, originally came here for looking at the implant, right. but the main reason for starting this whole process is because uh, of the uh, fibromyalgia symptoms. And yes. you're diagnosed with fibromyalgia by? Uh, a Mayo doctor. Okay. It's a specialist in fibromyalgia at Mayo Clinic. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, are you still on medications for that? No. No. Okay. I'm not on any medications other than just natural supplements. Okay. Like supplements, like a vitamin type of stuff? Uh, yeah, nutrients. Okay. Okay. Nutrients. Not, not medications. No, right. no medications. You mentioned earlier about the shaking in the head, and Bob kind of mm -hmm. chimed in. Tell me, Bob, what is, you, you, I know you all own a furniture store, mm -hmm. and you mentioned something about if she were to write. Tell me about it. Uh, if she would point something in a catalog to somebody. Mm -hmm. Show me uh, how that would be. I would, like. would, I would just almost be like she this. She would shake quite a bit. Like that. I could... It's hard to even get it to do that. <laughs> and it would it would bother her to a point where she would show them and then take her hand away. Because it'll be embarrassing. Yeah, because somebody, oh, are you nervous about? I said, no, I just have a tremor and I can't help it. And they then they feel bad for saying that because they were like pricing, you know, they were trying to bombard me on price. Like I was nervous. I'm like, no, I just have a tremor. I don't know why. It's just fibromyalgia. And, and to be quite honest, um, in fact, our family physician, Dr. Cameron. He could not give her a reason why. Um, she was given an MRI for another another symptom that she had last year. What was that symptom? Um, was she was having um, numbness and, and tingleness down her right arm mainly. And uh -huh. leg. And, um, mm -hmm. and how, how, how about those? Where are they now? I, had, I don't have anything. I've had no tingling. I have no pain in my arm. I have no thing. I've not had any pain. And you're noticing that uh, I'm noticing. You mentioned about the ear, arm, leg, all on the same side. Yes. Okay. And you, your back. And neck pain. Showing with the cup. Yeah. How the and I and I have no neck pain whatsoever. And always I would be like this, always grabbing. Uh, you're demonstrating a little while ago yeah. to show how well you can hold the cup. Show it to me. That's oh my gosh! I mean, it's even better than it was <laughs> at Thanksgiving. Well, you're not moving at all. Oh, it's the heart as a rock. Wow. Now that, that's crazy. Good oh, crazy. Oh, a blessing. Oh, Good Dr. Crazy. Roman. I'm... Oh, didn't mean to make you cry. Sorry. I haven't felt this good in years. We just started this. Not, six weeks. And I haven't felt this good in years. And it's a blessing. And my energy levels up. I can tell mm -hmm. a lot. And I just, I want to go do more things. But this is, I cry every time I think how well I feel. I'm sorry. I'm going to make you cry. No, it, it's a good cry. 
It's a blessing. Well, this is why we do what we do. Oh well, I won't make you cry anymore. No, Thank you. No, you can make me cry all you want. <laughs> Anything else to add? I, I just, I, I'm just astounded. It's a, it's just a blessing that I've just turned 50 and I'm, I'm getting my life back. I, I struggled so hard not to show my fatigue and my, just the pain. It was just so hard and. It's just getting so easy, so yeah. much easier. And we've just, we just got started on a trial basis. I know, that's what's so exciting. Awesome. And, and, and I know, I think I shared with you earlier, a lot of times when people hear stories like yours, they'll say, well, if that got better by correcting the jaw, it must be misdiagnosed. Uh -huh. Because they, then they start questioning the diagnosis of the physician. And your diagnosis of fibromyalgia but no less than a specialist at my Mayo Clinic. Oh, yeah. I went to a fibromyalgia clinic. And they they could oh, yeah. they, I mean it was a two day clinic. Oh, yeah. at Mayo. At Mayo. Yeah. They so they started check a two day clinic years ago. I mean it's been what? Oh, so long. Been at least two so what does a two day clinic mean? So they will be studying you for a whole two days? Yeah, you go. Uh, we spent the night, um, and you they would kind of sit around the table and talk to other people. There was a gentleman that was a painter, sixty years old, and he just gave up life. Gave okay, up. And they would just. Uh, so it's more of a support group. It it wasn't they, really a clinic of it was information. They had an occupational therapist. They yeah. had a physical therapist. They had. Mm -hmm. Do they? I don't know if they had a neurologist, but they just gave you their insights. Right. They'd have me walk. On, they'd watch yeah. my gait. They would do pressure points, and all eighteen, as they consider eighteen pressure points, mm -hmm. were fired up. And they first thought I had Parkinson's with my tremor. They couldn't figure out yeah. my tremor. Um, but they didn't call it that, and uh, I, I mean it's just it, it's just you know they teach you how to bend down do dishwash. I'm like I am too young for this. So more like managing, yeah. managing to cope with, cope yeah. with. Okay, yeah. I don't get it. stress your body to bend down the dishwasher. Bend down. I, I just like, are you kidding me? I am not. Doing so you're that. just in your thirties then? Oh yeah, yeah. At late thirties. Yeah. Yeah, it was. It was uh, probably mid. Well, I had Brooke 13. She's 13. I had her 13 years ago, and and that's kind of when everything just went wacko. But I had braces when I was in eighth grade. And, and you had four pulled. teeth taken out. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, you had four by cuspid extractions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and, and just you know, I played ball, very active, played sports. And Why is it that dentist? Because they took our our kids' teeth out all the time saying that they had to take the teeth out to put on the braces to make the teeth grow better together. Why do they do that? Well, uh... uh and else is saying nothing for nothing. <laughs> well, uh, since uh, we're talking about Dina, oh. I would answer your question. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, that's all. Is there anything else to add? I, I just, Dr. Rama and I, I just, we owe it all. To you. Well, thank you. Make, you make, make, this is why we do what we do. Mm -hmm. uh, to answer your question, one way to look at it is there are too many teeth. To take away teeth and to fit the arch. And the other way to look at it is, well, we are meant to have this many teeth. Why don't you get the arch in the right shape so that they accommodate all the teeth? And when you do that, then you also have room for the tongue. That affects the head and the neck alignment and all the other stuff you know about it. So uh, if only concern is to make them look straight, that is an easier solution. Uh, do they get away with it a lot of time? Yeah, all the time. So you mentioned your symptoms can happen much later, so often those two are not connected. It is one of the factors that add to the cup. Thank you. Okay. Good morning, Dina. Good morning. Would you please tell us what are the most important things, what are the outcomes you're looking for? If I can have you name the number one concern for you, what would that be? Fibromyalgia. Okay. By which you mean? The fatigue, the headaches. No, um, those are all other uh, symptoms also. I think you meant like generalized achiness, I think you meant. Oh, yes, yes. Okay. Very much so. Just all the way head to toe. Just to feel like somebody's beat me with a two by four when they touch me. It just, my, I'm just so tender. Okay. Very bruise easy. Okay. All right. And the uh, uh, second one after that, what would be the second one? Um, the second one probably um, 
it's probably headaches. Okay. Point to me where the headaches are. Well, a lot of times they'll be over here. You can turn sideways so you can show it better. Okay. On the, on the uh, right hand side, they will kind of lodge right mm -hmm. there. Like this morning, um, of course every day, every minute's a little different, but I've, I've got a lot going on in between right here. Okay. More in the frontal area. Uh, very rare do I get in the back, but mainly the frontal and the right. Okay. And then the uh, third one? Um, the fatigue. Okay. Um, Just I, I know it's hard to show, like yes, lack of energy. Fatigue is just, um, you know, you know, you just you feel like you've got the gas on, going with the foot feed, but the brake is on, and you're just pushing, pushing, pushing to go. It just be nice to get rid of the fatigue. Like there's something keeping you from being able yes. to do things. Yes. All right. Okay. Yes. I'm too young uh, for that. Tell me about the until, I'm too young for that. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I agree. Until uh, tell me about the headaches. How often do you have those? 24-7. 24 24-7. Wake up with them, go to bed with them. Okay. Yes. All right. Sometimes worse than others? Very much so. Yeah. Okay. And um, it, it, I can't really tell which triggers what, but I can feel the pain in the body getting worse with the pain and the headaches. Okay. But they are 24-7. Got it. Okay. And the third one was the uh, fatigue. The What's the fourth one? Um, Pain, the Is that, pain. that area would be yes, important? Yes, like back in here, in this area, it just feels... Okay, turn like some more. Would that be just oh, on the right side or both sides? Right side. side. Mainly the right side, always like grab it right there. Okay. And right here, it just feels like it's always inflamed and just... Got it. All right, tender. Very oh. tender. Yes. What's the next one after that? Um, let's see, we've got facial pain kind of... But this is from this area. Where the implant, we yes. think it is implant related, that right. area. Right, it just is a gnawing. And I don't know if that, that's, this is definitely not from the headaches. Well, we're not necessarily more trying headaches, to. headaches, yeah. right. Uh, more like what are your concerns. I'm not promising I'm going to solve all of those, but to kind of learn about what all is going on. Right. And what is the next one after that? Let's see, tingling. I, I'll get um, tingling. Okay, uh, show me. Well, sometimes I'll just down through my arm. It will just, like okay. yeah, actually yesterday morning I was getting ready to go to church. and I, Again, arm, the right side though? My right side. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Right side arm. That, would it be like a, like a foot falling asleep kind of a? That and just numbing. Numbing also. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Off and on and in my hand. It'll go down to my fingers. Mainly okay. on my right side, then my left. Okay. And what is the next one after that? If you solve those, you're in good shape. <laughs> just, just basically, and um, just all, just the whole pain. Okay. It, it's just, you, you don't realize how much of a struggle it is getting out of bed sometimes. Okay. You also mentioned about the muscle cramps. Yes, I will get in my, in my, right here in my arches. Again, the right side? On the right side. Well, they can get left too. But, um, but in my shins. Okay. Um, right through here, and mainly my 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 toes. Okay. They will just cramp up. Okay. Very very bad. Okay. And then, and then I think I'm like, I'm just tired or something. But I mean, I have 14 karat gold rings on my hands, and it, my rings will turn my skin black. Okay. I mean, I just I just feel very fatigued. Okay. Anything else? That's probably about it. Okay. And you mentioned about ringing the ear. Which side was that? Right. Right side again. It is the right side again. And when do you notice that ringing the ears? Um, they just kind of off and on. Okay. But it seems like there's a pattern. A lot of them are on the right side related. Yes, it does. Okay. Good. It does. Well, thank you.